Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your spirit message for mid-February. This is generally based around the new moon eclipse, um, but just take it whenever it resonates for you know the rest of February, whatever. Um, this is a message from spirit. So what does spirit want you to know? What does spirit want Sagittarius to know? Oh, interesting. The marrying maiden. A compromising situation. Subordination. Succumbing to seduction. Manipulation. Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem? That doesn't serve you very well. Manipulation? Uh-oh. Mm. She's chained. And I'm getting the goosebumps. Oh my gosh. <sighs> A compromising situation. Pay really good attention to your self-esteem at this time. Are you acting out of a high level or are you acting out of a low level of self-esteem? Maybe you're feeling unworthy and you're thinking about settling. Settling for somebody that you aren't meant to be with. That could be the case. Discontent and boredom, yes. Many of you are not re not feeling loved. And when you're not feeling loved, you might feel like you need to settle. That They're giving you this message that you need to hear. Remember that. It's time to become aware. Become aware, aware of what you want, who you are, what you're worth. This is self-awareness. It's time to become aware. It's time to shed the old. It's time to shed the past. It's a time of taking action. It's a time of using all the resources within you to overcome this feeling of low self-esteem, okay, and discontent and boredom. Use the discipline within you to protect you. Love begins. You could be receiving a new opportunity in love. Okay, you should be, all right? It's a new beginning, a new beginning in love, but maybe it's a new love for yourself because that's kind of what I think it is with this low self-esteem. It's where this new love begins, but I really feel like it's for yourself where you find renewed hope. You find renewed inspiration. It's a time of renewal. It's a renewed peace, okay? It's a time of hope and wishes and dreams to be fulfilled, so don't be going down the wrong path with the wrong one because you're bored and you're discontent. It's time for you to love yourself unconditionally, okay? Find that inner strength that you have gained through the years, through your wisdom. You know, you've gained this wisdom through years of suffering. Where is it? What has it taught you? Okay, it's time for you to love yourself, love yourself, love yourself without expectations. Okay, it's a time of growth, it's a time of fertility, it's a time of renewal, and it's a time of rebirth. Sagittarius, it's a time of transformation, releasing the past. This is, these are both releasing the past. Okay, it looks really good. It's a time where you release the old you and you become new, the new you. I love myself. I love. I love. This is self-love. This is self-love. This is the heart chakra. The heart chakra on you. This is self-love. It just reiterated that I thought this was you. Thank you, Lord. Self-love. You guys are manifesting love for yourselves. It looks fantastic. Okay, this is self-love. It's where you're starting to go through this beautiful rebirth within yourself. It's a time of transformation. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of building your self-esteem back up. Not settling. 
It's a time of following your intuition. It's a time of respecting your inner knowing, okay? It's a time of using your inner power to prevail. That's what I see. It's waking up. It's like, I'm awake. I, I hear. I know what I need to do. I love myself. I am not going to settle. I am not going to let you bring me down. I am going to continue to manifest. I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to transform. Many of you are going through major life transformations where you are shedding the old you. I mean really shedding the old you. Releasing. Releasing those old patterns, releasing those old ways, and doing it with love. I love myself so much that I am going to do whatever it takes to grow. I see that many of you are really being your own advocate and as you learn to love yourself you start to glow and you start to vibrate very highly as your love as your love grows for yourself you will magnetically pull in the right one okay these are like magnetic pulls all right these are these are these are um, energies that are being sent out to the universe. As you open up and become aware and use your resources to create and manifest your future, you will receive what you desire. Your dreams and wishes will become true. This is a message from Spirit telling you not to settle. Work on self-love. As you work on self-love, your dreams, your desires, your hopes, your wishes will manifest and come to fruition. They will. Don't let this feeling of being discontent and bored and unloved make you settle for something that gives you low self-esteem. I see that it is time of a transformation, a new beginning, where, you know, the old dies and the new flourishes. It's a time of hope. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of growth. It's a time of compassion. It's a time of love. It's a time of awareness, becoming aware that you know, I know what I need to do. I know that I am worthy. So your message from spirit is, do not settle. Love yourself without expectations and your dreams, hopes, and wishes will come true. Love yourself without expectations. Love yourself unconditionally and your hopes, dreams, and wishes will come true. That's what I have, Sagittarius. I hope you're ready.